These are the Chat City interviews from 103.2 Preston FM. They are your community, your radio, and uh, thanks for being with us on Chat City, your morning magazine show, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. through to noon. And uh, right now in the studio, we've got uh, Karen Beach from Broadfield Community Association, and uh, also with Karen, here is Ashley in the studio. So, Karen, a very good morning to you. Morning, Joe. And uh, lovely to see you. Before we talk about, we're going to be talking about the big lunch. Tell us a little about Broadfield Community Association. Well, it's um, it's a community association made up of the residents and volunteers of uh, Broadfield Estate in Leyland. Um, we sort of had an appreciative inquiry in 2009 and the upshot was that people wanted an actual community place that they could bring the community back together again um, like it was in days gone by. Um, a lot of work and a lot of pulling together but we actually managed to secure a property right. and we run it fully. It's open every day as a youth centre. Um, we do training courses uh, or anything that the community wants. Um, we'll find a bit of funding, if at all possible, and, and lay out what the people want. So we're actually delivering services that we've been asked to deliver. Um, again, like I say, it's brought the community together wonderfully, absolutely wonderfully. Yeah. And often these days, I mean, uh, community centres now are the lifeblood of communities, aren't they? And uh, is it is it a very active one? Do the community come behind you? Yeah, um, we're, we're supported with any events we put on or any... We're really well used, which is quite unusual on an estate, um, with the adults as well as the, the young people. You know, we engage with the young ones to try and get them off the street for antisocial behaviours and this, that and the other. Um but um, the, the the other side, the training side, gets a lot of the parents who wouldn't come out of their houses normally. Mm. So it gets them out, and then we have a drop-in session on a Wednesday where we all just sit around and drink tea and chat. Yeah, you we- know. But it's nice for the people to come out and socialise and not sit looking at the four walls all the time. That's right. So, and and the training. What kind of training do you undertake down there? Uh, well, we've of- done we've done English and maths. Um, they're actually onto the second level maths now, and the I think they're on the level three English. Uh, they're supplied by um, Preston College, uh, run the courses for us. Um, we've done a recovery course as well for people who are having mental health issues. Um, that's continuing just at the moment, and other things that we're we're going to offer is uh, for for the adult ladies is sort of dance or something. Something more physical, you know, to be doing. We've actually got them out now. So you're going so now to let's the, do. Uh, <laughs> I quite fancy a Bangra dance. I must admit. Is I that do. right? I do. do yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. Have you ever uh, tried it? Have you? Uh... I've, I've watched it, and it's absolutely wonderful. It's actually hypnotised. <laughs> wow. Well, um, but I could just see our ladies, you know, doing doing that. Yeah. I mean, it's a brilliant way of exercising, but having fun at the same exactly. time. Exactly. You it? don't realise you're exercising then. Not at all, you know, so... And like this week, I take it half term, it's well used by younger people on the estate. And, yeah, we've got uh, things again... in place for for any holidays that the kids have. We always have something in place, so they're not on the streets looking for something to do when there's really nothing to do on the streets. Um, this week, sorry, next week it is, we're, we're organising a, a big litter pick, so like all the adults will come out because it's during the day they swap mm. um, we just do a big litter pick collect maybe 30 or 40 bags of rubbish and then the council clear them away for us right but again it's like even Community. if you can't make it step outside your door and pick that piece of rubbish up because it will make a difference do you know and last time we did it we had 30 bags and the state was spotless and the kids absolutely loved doing it wow the great kids loved it that's yeah. good to hear and what about i mean uh, again this morning there's been statistics out and we're constantly hearing at the moment uh, uh about in fact this morning it was it was released of the number of elderly people who've been ringing a phone line that's been set up for people to contact because they're on their own and they're so lonely do you get elderly people who drop in too who we otherwise do. probably would be quite isolated yeah we do um we, we have a, a local um older resident should we say area and anything we're doing we take it in there and then they've got the choice if they want to come one of us will walk over and pick them up um 
we have a couple of, of the, our older residents that have completed computer courses, which right. is absolutely wonderful because yes. everything will be online sooner or later. Yeah. But I think when you reach a certain age, that like you don't want to be bothered with that technology. So it's absolutely wonderful that these two have got the certificates and everything now for basic computer use. Right. You know. And like everything else these days, funding is always a challenge, is it? It's becoming more challenging. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um a couple of years ago, any funding you put in, chances were you'd get it. Now you, you're battling with that many other different people for the one pot of funding mm. that you've got to put more out to, to gain anything in. You yeah. Know. I've been quite lucky with the big lunch, with the, the funding for that. Um, but like what we're looking for funding for now is the summer holidays. We've got uh, lots of things that we've got on. Uh, we've Challenge, Challenge UK, I think it is, that, that are delivering that. Um, but obviously we've got to find a little pot of money to, to back them up, you know, right. for the taking the children swimming and then taking them to McDonald's or a barbecue after. So the little things like that, you know, um, we could hit a smaller funding pot for that sort of thing. I know, and what is sometimes quite uh, difficult to realise is the fact that if yourselves, the community, etc., weren't organising this then other agencies would have to spend a lot of money in putting resources onto the estate, but you yourselves are doing it on behalf yeah. of the other authority um, departments. Well, I've pulled all them together, if you will, yeah. um, got everybody involved. But it's the tenants that are sort of running this now. You know, we all began, like, I'm only a volunteer, only a volunteer. <laughs> um, but it's a case of, like... the. They're doing it for themselves now, the community. Like I say, if they want something doing, they come and have a word and we can set it up, we'll set it up. So it's like them taking the lead now, whereas right. it was us before. You okay. know, so. so tell us about the big lunch. Well, the big lunch is this Friday, the 30th of May, uh, from 11 till 3 at Worden Park. Um, the reason it's at Word and Park is I've run it for the last three years and it was just getting bigger and bigger is and bigger. Is that right? Yeah. Really? Uh, I had nearly 200 last year and I thought, need for a lunch? bigger place for lunch. <laughs> yeah, we, also, we had games on and music. We had all sorts going on. Um, so I approached South River Borough Council and asked them, would I, would I be able to use Word and Park? Because it's a big, large, open space. And they agreed to it, which is absolutely wonderful. Obviously, I've got to tick all the right boxes, which I've done. Um, so it'll be round about where the Arts Centre is on Word and Park. Now, everything for the whole day is free because I managed to get funding from the different wow. places. There's not a charge for absolutely anything. We've got donkeys, face painters, balloon modellers. We've got arts and crafts, laser quest. Uh, rodeo Bull, which I quite fancy rodeo myself, bull. the Rodeo Bull, <laughs> yeah. Not the dancing, then? You've not got the dancing you want to do this no, Friday? No, no, no. Maybe next time? Well, I'm hoping to get that for the... We have a fun day at the end of the summer holidays, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to perform on that fun day. Right. I've, I'll have that in my mind, don't worry, Hugh, it's, it's all in, <laughs> in there. Great. Yeah, but the, the big lunch, it's a case of just come out, bring a, a bit of a picnic with you, because originally... Um, Asda, who supported us greatly with this, we're going to provide the actual lunches, but because it's got so big now, um, and the numbers we're looking at is well over 200 now, um, they've decided they'll put a hamper together and we'll raffle it off, um, rather than them, you know, supply individual food. Uh, so just come along, everybody, and have a lovely day, because the weather is supposed to be spot on as well. It's supposed to be 20 degrees with 20% chance of rain. Wow. Yeah. You've certainly done your <laughs> I've homework ordered it. there, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey? Ordered the sunshine. We just need the people now. So people so. just come along? Just come along, yeah. It doesn't matter which community you're from. Uh, because I brought the whole of Leyland in. So it goes for Moss Side, Farrington, Leyland Central, Weardall, Broadfield, or any... Lost a call, South Ribble, anywhere in South Ribble. You're all quite welcome, more than welcome. And this is going to be the third year? This is the third year that I've been doing it, yeah. Um, it was originally set up by um, the founder of the Eden Project, um, Tim Smith, in 2009, having a coffee break with his colleagues, and they were sat round talking about the um, street parties and things and how communities used to be. And he came up with the idea, well, why don't we all sit down to lunch? And that's where it all started. 
uh, then they rolled it out the following year with their own and it's just really taken on. There's that many big lunches happening in June. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Wow. And uh, as you say, if uh, you've had to move premises because of the numbers of attending yes. and the weather's like that this Friday, then I would imagine you'll be beating the record of, what, 200? Oh, well, well, over. well, I know at least I've got 200 now, so that's only what I've done. And there's a lot of people working with me on this, you know, so... Yeah, the so numbers are, are up there. So if people bring their own lunch along, it sounds yeah, like a Yeah, bring a picnic blanket then. and a lunch, a bit of lunch. Although there is a cafe on site that, you know, they can get tea, coffee, ice cream or, or whatever. Um, but if you actually want sandwiches and that, they better bring in a little picnic, you know. But there's so much to do for the children, you know, adults alike, and it's all free. There you are, and that's mm. the main thing, isn't it? And it having is. a good day together. I having was, a good day, that's... I was, I was just trying to bring up, I don't know if you... Uh, Worden Park, I was going to... For anybody Park. who's not sure where it is. Right, it's, it's just off the centre of Leyland, um, where the main Tesco's is, just a little bit down the road there. It is actually signposted where Tesco's is. Brilliant. So if you're driving down, you'll see the... Around the Tesco area, the signs for Worden Park. So that's this Friday and this Friday, uh, times again? 11 till 3. Brilliant. 11 till 3. Just come and have a good time. And it's it's a perfect end to the half term for the kids. Absolutely perfect end. And so. uh, anything, any other events in the pipeline well, coming we, up? Yeah, like I say, we have our, our summer... Um, kind of fur is timetable, yeah, yeah, ah, right. Uh, for different things going on, but I will put everything on the website. So uh, we have actually a Facebook page where everything goes on there, and we get all our feedback and everything onto there as well. So once I've got it on paper, I shall get it straight onto the computer. Okay, so the uh, the website and the Facebook page, yeah, it's Broadfield Community Association. Um, just add yourself, literally add yourself, and and then I'll I'll sort of confirm that you've been added. Brilliant. Yeah. And all our information goes on there. Okay. So. Well, I bet you uh, will have a great day on Friday. And, I'm so uh, excited myself. I'm like a little child. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope the homework is right with the weather forecast there. I'm it, sure it, it will I've be. I've ordered it, so. Yeah, it should be then. <laughs> so there you are. So you better take your sun cream along and your sun uh, screens and yeah. whatever else and have a brilliant day. Karen, can I thank you for coming into the studio this morning? Thank you very much for inviting you. me. Thank you. Thank you. Made by people like you. Your community. Your radio. Your Preston FM.